anti-retroviral therapy or art. Just picture this. At this moment, there are over 27 million people globally living healthy, productive lives thanks to ART. In the 80s and early 90s, HIV was synonymous with fear, suffering and death. Now, it's a chronic condition that with the right treatment and care, one can live for many years. The landscape of HIV has transformed tremendously and ART has been a protagonist in this story of medical triumph. But what is this hero that we call ART? Picture a team of elite soldiers fiercely defending a fortress. That's ART for you. A combination of daily medications that are designed to thwart the HIV virus in its tracks. These medications block the virus from replicating and spreading through your body. By reducing the so-called viral load, ART allows your immune system to recover, fortify itself, and protect your body from other infections and diseases. Now, you may wonder what happens if someone has HIV but chooses not to take ART. The simple answer is, without ART, the HIV virus continues to replicate and weaken the immune system, making the body vulnerable to infections and diseases that it could otherwise fight off. This is when HIV progresses to AIDS, a life-threatening condition. Not to mention that without ART, the HIV virus in the body remains at a high level, posing a significant risk of transmitting the virus to others. You now might wonder that does ART really work? The resounding answer is yes. The efficacy of ART isn't just anecdotal, it is well documented in countless research studies. Since the inception of ART in 1996, we witnessed a dramatic decrease in AIDS-related deaths. Not only that, it has also been instrumental in reducing HIV transmission. Remember that famous slogan, U equals U, from our previous episodes? Well, it only applies if you are on ART. ART is truly a testament to the power of medical research and its potential to save millions of lives. Now, often I'm asked, is ART a universal solution? The response to that is an unequivocal yes. Irrespective of their CD4 cell count, a crucial indicator of immune health, it's recommended that all individuals diagnosed with HIV start ART. The primary aim here is to suppress the virus as speedily as possible. In doing so, it can help prolong lives and prevent the transmission of HIV to others. The pressing question then becomes, when is the best time to start ART? Previously, guidelines suggested waiting until the CD4 count fell below a certain threshold. However, a pivotal study altered this approach. That study is none other than START study or strategic timing of antiretroviral treatment trial. Initiated in 2009, the global trial enlisted over 4,600 HIV-positive individuals from 35 countries. Half were given ART immediately, while the other half waited until their CD4 cell counts dropped. The results were groundbreaking. Immediate treatment significantly reduced serious AIDS-related illnesses and other severe diseases. This crucial study led to a paradigm shift in HIV management. Now, the medical consensus globally is to start immediately. Commencing ART right after diagnosis, irrespective of the CD4 count, is seen as a key to healthier and longer lives of people living with HIV. It's a step forward in transforming HIV from a fatal disease to a manageable chronic condition. This brings us to a fundamental truth about HIV. It is, as per our current understanding, a lifelong condition. This means that ART isn't a quick fix, but a lifelong commitment. And it's a commitment that holds the key to managing HIV effectively 
and maintaining your quality of life. However, what if you decide to stop ART? Discontinuing therapy can have unfavorable consequences. Stopping treatment may allow the virus to regain its strength potentially leading to an alarming surge in viral load. More worryingly, it could pave the way for drug resistance, making the HIV strain in your body more challenging to treat with available drugs. Consistency in adhering to ART is your staunchest ally in keeping the HIV at bay. Therefore, it is of utmost importance that if you're considering interrupting your treatment, always have a discussion with your healthcare provider first. They can guide you through the possible implications and help manage any issues you're experiencing. It's important to acknowledge that ART, like any medication, comes with potential side effects. They can range from fatigue and nausea to more severe ones such as kidney and liver complications. However, most side effects are manageable and for many people, they lessen over time. Management of side effects has become more efficient over the years and many people on ART have a near normal quality of life. Also, drug-drug interactions are another factor to consider, especially if you're on medication for other health conditions, which is why it's essential to keep your healthcare provider informed about all your medications that you're taking. These include over-the-counter drugs, supplements, and herbal remedies. With the right guidance and regular monitoring, these too can be managed effectively. Remember, while this is a brief introduction to these potential issues, they're far more exhaustive. We will delve into the side effects and drug-drug interactions of ART in more detail in upcoming episodes. Living with HIV in the era of ART is an entirely different reality compared to early days of the epidemic. Yet, like any journey, it comes with its challenges, questions, and learning curves. In this series, we are here to accompany you to enlighten, inform, and empower you. Remember, we're in this journey together. Whether it's a question you have or a story you want to share, we're here to listen and to learn from each other.